perfect cut. How do we get the perfect cut? Well, that's what we're all looking for in woodworking, isn't it? This is how you get the perfect cut. You start off with a good machine, you adjust it properly, and then you put the right tooling on it. And today we're going to talk about bandsaw blades and specifically the resocking blade to deliver that perfect cut. Now many of you are familiar with standard bandsaw blades and this is a standard bandsaw blade. This is a one inch bandsaw blade. It's a three tooth per inch and it is a hook tooth blade and you'll notice that it has set to the teeth which means that every other tooth is bent in one direction or the opposite direction and that provides a little bit of a kerf, a little bit of dust clearance and it gives you an adequate cut for many many projects. If you're looking for a specialty cut, let's say for example you're using some very expensive exotic woods or you're doing book matching, you want to use a blade that's going to do a few things for you. You want to minimize your wood loss for expensive woods. You want to get a smoother finish so you have to do less sanding. I like that a lot. And you want to make it an easy process. Well that's where we switch over to this style of blade and this is the resocking blade and you'll notice that there's quite a bit of difference. First of all, you, you're gone with the, um, the hook tooth and you go to more of a, a tooth that you might expect to see on a table saw blade. This one here uses a carbide tipped insert on each one. It's a, a C8 alloy that is welded to the tip of each tooth and we're going to talk about that in great detail here for you. But this is the type of blade that will deliver the perfect cut. Laguna Tools developed the Resaw King blade many years ago and it was in answer to woodworkers needs for a better blade. Let's say you've got some expensive wood like some rosewood or some highly figured wood like curly maple and you're trying to get a good quality cut out of it. At that time about the best blade you could get uh, for that type of application was a carbide tip blade that was designed to use for metalworking. And it had some limitations although it delivered some, uh, some good promise at the time. The limitations became uh, that it wasn't a resharpenable blade. That the tip of the tooth was not profiled to optimize uh, for woodworking. It was more designed for metalworking. Uh, those were a couple of the limitations for this blade. The other limitation was the backing material itself. The backing material was designed to go on larger bandsaws and so consequently they developed fatigue cracks over time. And so we had to look at those considerations when developing the Resaw King blade and uh, we put a lot of features into it to address each of those issues. Let's have a look. Well the first thing that we took into consideration was the backing and you'll see this is a nice flexible backing. This is a Swedish silicon steel and uh, it's a nice thin backing that gives you a lot of flexibility. The other style blades at the time had a thicker backing and they were prone to cracking right here in the gullets of the teeth and they would come apart in the bandsaw. So that was the first issue that we addressed. Now each of these teeth are very special. You notice that each individual tip is welded on and these are a tough C8 alloy that falls in the carbide family and we use that material for a number of reasons. It's a tough tooth it is resharpenable and we'll show you the resharpening process here in just a bit. We can actually also go through and profile the sides of each of these teeth to give you the ultimate finish. Now you'll notice that the, the tooth has this little raised notch right behind each tooth and that does another thing for the quality of the cut is that limits the feed rate. You cannot overfeed this blade in the saw. Each individual blade is handcrafted to meet our customer specifications. The first step is to uncoil the blades and to cut them to the correct blade length. Now every bandsaw has its own specific blade length. This one happens to be 150. Your blade might take a different length. Once the blade is cut, we'll go through and weld the ends of the blade together. And this needs to be a precision process. If the angle is off at all or the blade ends don't match up, if the cut isn't exactly 90 degrees square, it'll uh, affect the quality of the blade negatively. Every blade is hand ground so we can look for any type of defects in the weld. If there's a bubble in there, it'll make a weak blade. We want to make sure that your blade turns out perfect. After the blade is ground both on each side and the back to make sure that it's perfect, the next step is to put the finished cut on the blade. And we'll put the blade in a special machine that goes through and puts the initial, the, actually the final grind on the blade. Now this grind is designed to produce that flawless, smooth cut that we're talking about. Now after each blade has been processed, they'll take the blade and package it for shipment to you. And to fold your blade, you want to take your hands out, palms up, a little more than shoulder width apart, and go ahead and grab the blade. And if your fingers are easily cut, you might want to put some gloves on for this. Grab the blade, let the far end of the blade droop down a little bit, and as it starts to droop, take your hands, push your knuckles toward each other, and just rotate your hands in. This is going to start to develop the top loop. The second loop is forming right here and the bottom loop is simply grabbed and brought up. 
When you're doing resaw work, you want to make sure that you use the widest bandsaw blade possible for your saw. And we make the Resaw King blade in four different sizes. We make it in a three-quarter inch for smaller saws, in a one inch, that'll fit the Laguna LT14 and LT16 bandsaws. We also make it in an inch and a quarter, as well as in a two inch blade. This will be for the Resaw Master and bandsaws like our LT37. And of course, we'll make the Resaw King blade to any length that you need. You just specify the length, we'll make sure that we have a blade that's lined up in your blade length and an appropriate size for the blade. We also offer the Resaw King blade and its cousin called the Kerf King. It's a little bit thicker backing. It's designed for larger bandsaws on wheel diameters of about 20 or 24 inches and larger. Now, the Resaw King blade is designed to do straight line resaw work only. It's not designed to do curves and we have customers that ask for a smaller or narrower blade so they can do curves and that's really not its intent. With the tooth profile that we have and with no set to the teeth, it's really designed for straight line resawing. Now it works perfect on a number of different woods. We also have customers that will use it in a number of different applications and we'll talk about some of those in just a bit. One of my favorites is to get the maximum yield out of a piece of wood and I had a customer that called me a little while back and said that they paid for the bandsaw by using the Resaw King blade to get an extra guitar back and top out of the type of wood that they were cutting. Now they were cutting some nice red spruce wood for the guitar tops and some uh, I believe it was Brazilian rosewood for the backs of the guitars. And these are some expensive woods and for them to get one whole extra piece out of there we had to do a couple of things with the Resaw King blade. First of all we had to have a narrow kerf and the standard Resaw King blade has about a sixteenth of an inch kerf. The next thing that we had to do was deliver a nice smooth finished cut. That means less sanding and less material loss even after the cut and the Resaw King blade performs flawlessly.